Well, now here's the story. Um, about, well, I don't know, several months ago, back in August of last year, so think the end of last summer, Victoria Wick brought this to HSN. It went on the air and sold out in two minutes. So mm -hmm. 120 seconds. It was on the air and right. it was gone. Almost 700 have now been ordered. We're down to only 390 of these left at this I think point. That's sold out. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> well, not the ring. I was actually putting a necklace on. Well, put, we're selling out of so much stuff. You know. What I know. Okay, I don't know so what to put on. tell us the story about this ring. I love this ring. I love this ruby ring. It's one of my. I mean, I have. It's really tough for me to pick favorites, but I love this ring. It's red. It's it's a natural ruby. It's an African ruby. And it's a cabochon. Many of you know my love for cabochons. I love cabochon stones. Why? You know what? I don't know what it is. It's, I mean, I love faceted stones, so don't get me wrong. I love all the stones. But cabochon stones, I think, have that wonderful, you know, the, the glow from the surface. It's got that color intensity. And I also think there's something special about, you know, that opaque stone. You know, it got translucent stone. Okay. I just love it. I, when I'm looking at that, you know, look at that, the height of the stone that you don't get on a, a, in a, a faceted That's stone. That's very true. You know, it's yeah. like a, you, don't get, you don't get this kind of a look in a faceted stone. Right. A lot of some of the most precious, you know, museum pieces actually have been cabochons. Well, think of some of the royal jewels in England. Yeah. When you see the robe, yeah. those are giant yeah. cabochons. cabochons. Yeah. So I think when we see cabochons, we tend to associate it with royalty, yeah. we, very if, old if they're pieces. Done well, yeah. well, imagine, they're done the, well. you've mm -hmm. seen the portraits, the oil yeah. portraits of royalty over in it's Europe. Almost all of them are cabochons. Cabochons, mm -hmm. big cabochons, because they couldn't fast it. But, but, but it even to this day, though, even to this day, if you go to Europe, cabochon stones are... I mean, some of the, the social lights in these countries, they go for those cabochons because oh, yeah. you, you start with a really nice material. So this is a premium quality African ruby cabochon. Mm -hmm. Now, look at the color of the stone. It's beautiful. And, you know, look at the... Uh, it's almost like uh, like a wet candy. I mean, it's it's that yes, beautiful. It's that's like a, a great yeah. I, yeah that's it's a like great a wet candy almost. <laughs> it really I mean, it is. is oh wait, but show on the side. So you did this twisted, twisted, locker, right? Like almost chain look. Yeah, and and you know what? And there are faceted rubies uh, embedded in the chains that you can't really see on that shot right now. But but that's okay because I didn't want you to see it from this shot. Well, you, right you're gonna there. see these little sparkly matching and also. Look at the dimension of the the weave on the yellow gold part. That's Normally, you, you know, in a ruby, this this price point, first of all, if you get any, just like a four prongs, you're lucky. But then to get this kind of uh, dimension mm. on it. And then I just love, it's almost like the Queen Elizabeth I, like ruffled collars. Yeah. Those ruffles are so in right now in apparel. Ruffles, soft softness, you know, things that are feminine. Excuse me one moment. I what? am down to five, six, seven, and eight. I only have four sizes left just okay. right now. So you will love this piece. There, that's a great you know, shot. That you, too. you will love what, it. What do you have on either side of this? Because it's interesting. You did prongs, but it almost looks like a half bezel. Right. And it's, you, it's like a half bezel, and you have the prong on top. You have faceted rubies on the side. I love the height of the stone. I love the, the profile where you have this, this almost like a collar around the neck. Mm -hmm. And I love the dimension of the, the yellow gold area. You know what? To, do, to be able to polish a braided effect like this at this price point is almost impossible. I mean, we, I because you'd have, to pol you'd have to start with so much um, detail so that when you polish to this gleamy effect that you still have th those wonderful braided effects. And then you still do that, do that vermeil coating on top. And when you do that, by the way, you know, we have to polish them all over again. Right. And then same thing with this side. So you There's never almost, steps, yeah, right? normally you see them just simply oxidize or you see them, you know, just matted out, like sandblasted out. You never see them sandblasting and poly polish, high polish at the same time. And you almost never see them completely high polished like this. You only find them in the jewelry that it's thousands of, you know, thousands of dollars right. because you have to get to the crevice manually. You know, you can't do like a buffing machine. See, in here, what she's talking about. And, and we don't accept any rough, edge, rough right. edges. And you couldn't so have soft. any rough. Yeah, mm -hmm. super comfortable. Um, this, this is white topaz. By oh, completely. This is mm -hmm. white topaz, by the way, on either all the way around it. You know what? When, here, when can you ever say to somebody, you own a natural ruby? It's huge, cabochon. too. <laughs> if you went to Europe like this, they're going to really think you're royalty. I'm not kidding you. Look how you interesting Japan, this is. They're going to think you're royalty. From the top down, you yeah. go, oh. 
That's it's a great beautiful. ring. No, wait, mm. but watch what happens. It's when you turn it mm -hmm. that you realize there's so much dimension. Right. That's yeah. neat. I mean, you ask me why I love cabochons? That view. You can never get that in okay. a faceted that's stone. That's very true. You can never I mean, get that. It would that. be like half the size. It's, it's like a big much bubble, flatter. Like a dew. Yeah. Yeah. Like in the morning like when you get it, it's like a dew drop. You ever seen a dew drop glistening yeah. on a leaf and, 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 and yeah, the wind exactly. blows and it just yeah. has that kind of it's little... It's just moving. It's like a, like a wet bubble. Yeah. And you exactly have that. It. It's like a wet candy. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. It is something and it's going to sell out. So if you're on the line, great. If not, unfortunately, we're down to five, six, seven, eight. Please stay on the line. If you have to jump in, Love use it. automated ordering. And that's the way and to get to the front. there's only one ruby for the whole Tucson event. This is oh, it. this was it. This yeah. is the only this ruby the ring ruby you did. Cap. And mm -hmm. you don't do rubies very often. Right. I mean, over all the right. shows we've done, right. I can't There's recall too ruby. many. It's, it's, the it's ones with rubies we've done were all a few hundred dollars, $500 and, and up. And I love that two-tone effect because, you know, you mm. wouldn't notice how dramatic that yeah. link work is yeah. if it were yeah. all done in rhodium and silver. Yeah, you could have done that too, but still, You could have, but you wouldn't have yeah. really right. highlighted it you know, if it was all And I also love the warmth of that ruby versus that yellow. It just gives you that luxurious. It does. It and gives you, know you that extra luxury. But you know what's interesting from the top down mm -hmm. is it's the play, oh, and I'll hold it this way. We, we talk to each other. Actually, when you're at well, she's, she's not even thinking about you. Us, she's not going like talking, this, you know. Kind of like, but look at this. I'll do it. If, you're, if I was pointing it at her, you see the play. See how the ruby goes right to the topaz and to the yellow. Right. So you have right. one. That wonderful yellow. One, yeah, that wonderful mm -hmm. yellow that sort of warms it up. And then what happens when you turn it sideways Look how you see There's a so lot of white metal yeah. and the ruby here. Yeah, now hold it right there. Even that twisting, it, it becomes like a knife edge thin. It's almost like a twisting. Yeah, let me turn it that yeah. way, right there. So it's not all the same either. It, there's just so much going on in here, I'm telling you. This is designed as a like a thirteen thousand dollar piece, except it's you know it's hundred thirty nine dollars. Did you draw? Did you draw paint? What did you do to, for the? Because sometimes she'll come and show me on a napkin. She has and sometimes I do it on a, on a watercolor. But water sometimes color. she does a whole watercolor. How did you do this? One? This one was done like a, a color, actually like markers. This did you was really? Markers. It was. You know, the... we do what we have to do. You know, we're on the rush no, sometimes. No, it's, I know. I, but, I, I but, the, but you have to see the markers. The, the markers we use are totally different. But they're like brush, like more right. like brush. Right. They look markers, like right? they're watercolors. But yeah, yeah. she's not using yeah. like the big old, you know, yeah. no, no, no. highlight markers. Like <laughs> and these are professional. Like, Make the ring look yeah, like this. Yeah. Like the cartoon <laughs> artists, for example, they use markers that are that are professional. Yeah, like br almost yeah. like brush markers. Yeah. 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 No, I just was curious because sometimes she's actually shown me scribbled things and said, and it's been amazing. Okay, that is